Hello and welcome to Plus TV Africa, where big stories live. Welcome to Tea Time, where we bring you the biggest stories and very, very interesting personalities in the world of entertainment. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I'm here with my co-anchors, Ewa Oluwa Oritu and Benny Ag. Tea Time. Tea Time. Welcome Let's do to this. Tea Time. You're supposed to say Tea Time, too. <laughs> she didn't get the memo. No, she didn't get okay. the memo. That's fine. <sighs> How's it going? Good so far, like today so far. Mm. Good so far. I mean, mm. kind of slow pace, but I don't know what it is. I need to hear the gym to pop up some some blood. I mean, mm. and get my evening. I just want to chill this evening. I mean, mm. why you I mean? Because I know the back just was all right. So moving on to the <laughs> <main> story. <laughs> wow. A feminist identified as Rin has taken to her Twitter accounts to narrate her encounter with a man who wanted to date her. She tweeted, and I quote, This guy tells me he's broke and then proceeds to beg me to date him. I am 35 and divorced for Christ's sake. Pity me now. Nah. I should come and do Bob the Builder at 35. I'd rather be single and build myself. End of quote. Okay. She said what she said. And <laughs> <laughs> what she said, what she, she said, said. what she said. There's mm -hmm. absolutely nothing wrong with what she said. Mm -hmm. If she's on her own and she probably has kids, you know, that she needs to take care of and she's already struggling. Mm -hmm. And then you want her to, you want to add your own struggle to her own struggle. Both of you now start. She wants a better life for herself. Mm -hmm. And she said, if you can handle it, okay, if you cannot, move, bros. It's not, it's not, it's not a serious issue that anybody should even fight about. I don't want, I don't want, that's it. Do you agree? Um, she's, she's, hmm. she knows what she wants. Mm. Do you agree? Same foundation, okay, do, build it. <laughs> she, I already have makeup foundation, yeah. that's fine. <laughs> you know. She knows what she wants mm -hmm. and she stated it out clearly what she wants and nobody should blame her for stating out what exactly it is she wants. But. You know, but the tag <laughs> feminist, she's a feminist. Uh, feminists are clamoring for equality, you know, between both genders mm -hmm. in the workplace, in, in life, and everything that concerns us as human beings. Mm -hmm. Now, I have a problem with those who often sing the feminism anthem. Because if you're calling for equal rights, then you should be able to fend for yourself. You should but be able to fend for yourself. But she's not saying 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 she's not That's why I say I don't have any problem with her. Okay. It's what she wants. She wants what, what she wants and she likes what she wants the way she wants it. Nobody mm -hmm. should fall out for that. Mm -hmm. So I'm not against it. But she's tagged the feminist, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I mean, I have, I have a problem with all this feminism anthem being sung around mm -hmm. to realize that most of the women who sing so much about this feminism can't even take care of themselves. Mm -hmm. All right, but you're calling for equality between you and the men. But there are men um, that can't also take care of that's themselves. Pretty really. much unfortunate. But <laughs> <our so> <laughs> it is unfortunate. <laughs> it's unfortunate. Pretty much unfortunate. Our society frowns at it when, you know, I've had, I've had a situation whereby a friend of mine was actually having a conversation with another girl on the phone. Mm -hmm. And she was asking him for money. Mm -hmm. And he deliberately, intentionally said, you know what, I'm broke. Mm -hmm. Do you know what the response is from the girl on the other side? That you're not ashamed to say you're broke as a man. Wow. He responded back to her, Are okay, you also not, not cool, ashamed? Though. To be, asking for to be money. asking me for money as a woman, mm -hmm. that and that is expected of you as a man to always have money. The guy, the guy was like, "Oh, really? So it's expected of me to always have money and for you to always be demanding for money for me." You know, it's it's a twist. No, I think I'm fine it's with a you twisted acting narrative. as a lady and all that, but don't have you know, this twisted entitlement mentality. Now, like, you just just took the words out of my yeah. mouth. You know, you have a sense of entitlement to to a man's money because you are a woman, hmm. and if the man says, "Sorry, I don't have," I do do. Or that will call you broke. And then you're, not, you're not tagging <laughs> broke. And they should be ashamed for saying no when I'm broke. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's a twisted narrative. I have a problem with women who think you know at the end of the day you can't afford for yourself, mm -hmm. but you feel entitled to my money to afford those things for you. No, it's not your entitlement. Okay, well, let's come back it. to what you know, she's saying. So, back to what she said. She's mm -hmm. tagged a feminist. Again, I don't blame her for what she wants. Mm -hmm. But, sweetheart, if you're a feminist, you should be able to fend for yourself and take care of yourself. Because mm -hmm. from what she's saying, she's actually looking for a man who's going to come and become a meal ticket and a body bearer. No, no, that's not what she said. That's not what she said. Thank God I'm not she doing she what No, no, hold on. Let's read what she said again. Let's read what she said again. She said she, said she, said you she would rather. Let's read what she said again. It's on the screen. Oh, yeah. She doesn't necessarily look like someone who's doing good financially. I don't no, understand. No, no. She said instead of her coming to build you or build with you, she would rather be alone and continue building herself. So she's fine already. Read our story again, guys. Okay. We're reading the same thing now. This guy tells me he's broke and then proceeds to beg me to date him. I'm 35 and divorced for Pete's sakes. Mm -hmm. Pete's me now. It was longer than that. Mm -hmm. I should come and do Bob the Builder at 35. I'd rather be single 
and build myself. She's so only saying that she added by insinuation, <laughs> by inference and deduction, she's not necessarily as independent. No, I, what she's I saying can be is very that independent and not be in the mood to build with you. And it's not even about being in the mood. I'm independent and I do not want to build with you. She doesn't I mean, sound I'm already She sounds. She sounds. She sounds, she so sounds desperate. I'm 35. No. So what was that about? By, okay, let me bring it back to myself. So it will look like we're just bashing that really a woman I'm that is just sharing. Hold on. She says that well, hold up. she's I'm, already old. I'm, she does not have time to build. I am divorced. I am 35. That means, that's a statement of someone who was that's that's right. no, This is your own interpretation and it's fine. I have so much responsibility already. I cannot add you to it. I'm okay on my own. I'd rather that's continue that's to live alone. Okay, hold on. I want to say, let, let's bring that's it to me, but time, I don't know. From, but she's saying, I'm taking care of my responsibility. Yeah. I don't need it to be my responsibility. Yes. But I'm also looking at it from an angle of someone who's still struggling. And you know what? I mean, I'm, I'm not ready. That is I'm your not, angle, but that is yeah. not what her tweet is saying. Her tweet you is saying that is a very independent. Please, okay, ma'am, help, help me. As a last year, interpret as a last year, I wasn't yeah. 35. And this year, I'm not even 35, of course. So as a last year, a guy, I feel like DMing this lady to ask her who this guy is, maybe this is the same person, right? <laughs> Said exactly the same thing to me. Uh, in his own case, he is divorced, right? And he's 35 or close to 40. And he's saying, oh, I want to have a relationship with you. I think we can build from scratch. Right now, I don't even have a car and blah, blah, blah. That he stays in. I think he said he stays in a self-contained or something. I'm like, dude, really? It doesn't work for me. I'm sorry. I'm not saying people should not build with you, but your time and my time, it doesn't work. How am I living in a place better than yours and you are almost 40 and you want me to come and build with you? If I have money to give you, I will give you. It's not that deep, but I am not coming to build with you. And that is the point. So we have the right that's not to build. No, I, I, listen, I, I'm not that's, a bricklayer. That's the point exactly. Listen, ladies. They sh they sh listen, ladies. The same way I am Benny one, will. I am one up for ladies to know what it is they want mm -hmm. and go for it. I don't, mm -hmm. have, I don't have a problem with you having your standards. Okay. All right. So if you're saying that's a standard, yeah, that's a standard. We need to go on a tweet, break, actually. The tweet doesn't just necessarily need to go on a break. But oh, are you saying? Yeah, I need to, and it's just say one mm -hmm. more thing. The same way we feel like um, females are not entitled to men's money, saying, "Give me money, give me." That's the same way we should know that women are not entitled to suffer with but any you. man. It is I'm your choice. I'm not choice. asking you to come suffer with me. Oh, I'm wow. I take care of my own. I mean, okay, basically. Okay. But We're at the end of the day, <laughs> don't feel entitled to my money. It's it's not your. That was not what this tweet is about. Anyway, mm, she's but not we have entitled. we have a guest um, in the house, and we are going for a very quick break. When we come back, I'm sure it's going to be a very interesting conversation. We'll be right back.